Compliance reports let you view your provider's credentials at a glance. To open a provider's compliance report, click the link in the status column. The compliance report lists information about the provider's state licenses, DEA licenses, state-controlled substance licenses, ABMS certifications, OIG exclusion list status, and documents. Yellow highlighting means that a credential will expire in 60 days or less, while red means that the credential has already expired. If a license is eligible for renewal via Modio, you'll see a cart icon in the Actions column. Click on the cart to start the process. Here's how the DEA renewal will appear. The provider's full name, DEA number, expiration date, and location will be automatically filled out. Make changes for accuracy, then click Next. Check that the drug schedules are correctly ticked off, then review the demographic data and fill in the personal identity information to finish the renewal. Our primary sources are frequently updated. Click the Update button to see if new information is available about a provider's license. If the license data has been refreshed, you can click the last updated date to view a digital verification returned from the primary source. All credentials automatically have alerts for upcoming expiration dates. To disable an alert, click the bell icon. This will stop notifications about this credential for both you and the provider. When you want to reactivate an alert, go to the provider's detailed profile and choose the licensure tab on the left. Then, scroll to the right credential and click on the bell icon again to re-enable the alert. To see a quick summary of issues for your team, click on the Issues button from your Team tab. Any provider whose credentials are expiring or have already expired will appear here. If a provider doesn't show up on the list, then all of their credentials are up to date or an expiration date was not entered. You can also start a renewal process from this compliance report.